Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Market Commodity Snapshot. We're going to be looking at copper. Now, there's been some weak economic data from China this week, so that slows down the demand potentially for copper, but that follows some uh, monetary stimulus where China cut the reserve ratio, so that puts copper in a bit of a kind of conundrum. There is a potential bottoming pattern, so we want to talk more and see whether that can follow through. So as mentioned, this week we've seen uh, Chinese consumer and producer inflation dropping, showing a general kind of weak demand in the Chinese economy. We've uh, seen imports drop to multi-year lows, as well as a fall in exports. So China's economy is faltering a bit here, and that is the reason that we've seen the Chinese central bank, the People's Bank of China, cut the reserve ratio from 20% just to 19.5%. So that just means that banks need to hold less on reserve at the People's Bank of China. So that enables them to lend out a bit more to the wider economy, but not much. So the question really is going forward, will the People's Bank of China cut more? Um, data at the moment from China suggests they might need to. So as the data keeps weakening, fundamentally, there's going to be less and less demand from the Chinese economy, and that's, that's negative for copper. And copper prices have really fallen off a cliff recently. They've started to bottom out um, from this, uh, on the back of this, this monetary policy, but my feeling is that perhaps it might not be enough in itself. So there are some key chart levels to have a look at here, so let's pull up the chart right now. So this is the daily candlestick chart for copper, and as you can see, we saw a sh sharp spike in copper at that 245 level, and we rebounded back, came back down, we've tried to push through it a few times and failed, and we're, we're coming up higher now, and really that, uh, this sort of 266 is the sort of barrier to a potential double bottom pattern in copper, and you can see in the RSI, just above 50 has been a resistance for quite a long time, and so a move above 50 would indicate that perhaps we're moving out of this downtrending environment, not necessarily right into a raging uptrend, but at least towards more of a sideways market. But if we see a break through that 266, that could be to the catalyst to higher prices, um, perhaps up as far as, as 295. That is the, um, I believe, 50% retracement from the longer term uptrend in, in copper. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We were looking at copper, of course. Now, it doesn't trade in isolation. We've got to watch what happens with the US dollar. That's been strengthening recently because of the strong employment numbers in the US. Um, also, oil prices have been dropping heavily. Um, if we see new lows in oil, that does pose a risk to copper. But should we see a break above that 266, we could see further appreciation in copper. And I have written a full report on copper. You can see that at the link below. So feel free to read some more on it.